dream. Each and every person on this planet has got a dream in their life. But not everyone has the guts to take a path which leads to their dream. Maybe all are afraid of risking something they may lose in the process of pursuing their dreams. It's not our fault. We were born and raised in a cage of fear that we can't escape the reality. The choice to do what we love is the most hardest thing that we can face in our life. We may never find someone who encourages us to follow our passion. All we have to do is push ourselves beyond our limits. Sometimes we just need a bit of inspiration to get our life going. I think the only thing that stops us from achieving our dream is our own self-consciousness. When I look back in my life, things were totally different for me. I was caught up in a nine hours job living a mediocre life. I had a monotonous daily routine of going to office, meeting the same people, same office room, having night shift, overtime work and all. Work pressure was high, so was stress and depression. I even forgot to smile. All I wanted was money to settle down build a house and to marry my girlfriend. I never even cared about myself. But there was a point in my life when everything was changed. My world turned upside down. That was when I lost my girlfriend. All my dreams were shattered and those were the hardest time in my life. I felt like I lost control over my life. The best time to start a new addiction is when you feel like you have lost everything in life and that has happened in my life too. I had a new addiction. The taste was bitter but not bitter than my memories. It was always easy to escape from reality rather than accepting it. And this new addiction helped me to escape from the reality. And slowly, it took over me. Initially, I never wanted to stop it. It helped me to forget everything, at least for some times. And I was at the peak of peace during those moments. in my life being trapped in a world of addiction. I needed a change in my life and I knew 
this was going to help me. To escape from one addiction, you must have a new addiction. I know, changing is really a hard process, where you have to face the risk of coming out from your comfort zone. You have to be mentally strong enough, and it might definitely take some time. life is all about? How can we even call it a life? This life doesn't feel like it has got life in it. I think these are all revived in our brain from our childhood itself. We were taught to stay inside the box and never to crack it open. We had to unwear everything we have been forced upon in order to be free from this lifeless world. I don't want to live a life in this terrible way. My life could be better. What's the point in living a life full of stress and depression? And that was when I quit my job. I was broke then. I never had any plans to do what's next. Only thing I knew was I must live my life to the fullest until I feel satisfied. I should never have any regrets when I die. I want to live each and every day as it is the last day of my life doing everything I love and ever wanted to. At least, I can be happy and satisfied by doing things that I really love. Things may get bad in life, but you have to realize 
everything is part of life you can't control everything happening to your life maybe people are right everything in life happens for a reason The best thing about traveling is not the journey. It's all about the magical feeling of coming back home. The most important thing about traveling is the experience you get throughout the journey. And that experience is worth anything in this world. Where you go, what you do is not much important unless you do it with all your heart. Thank you.